I'm Jackie with Progressive RC, and you're tuned into how to choose the best charger and power supply for your charging setup. A charger and power supply are not always soft on the wallet and should definitely be treated as a long-term investment. We're going to show you how to choose the best charger and power supply combination for your setup based on cost, quality, features and specs, and of course how the two go together. So once you have your charger picked, we'll show you how to pick the right power supply to power it. We want to talk about cost first because most people choose their chargers based on what they can afford and yes we are all limited by our budget. Think of it like buying a car. You can buy a $500 car or a $6,000 car. Which do you think is going to get you more bang for your buck? Just like with cars, you can buy yourself a $30 charger but you're probably going to be in the market for a charger again pretty soon, whether it's for a feature that wasn't on the $30 charger, maybe you need to charge a different chemistry battery. So definitely do your homework before you jump in and just get yourself a cheap charger. There's a wide range of quality available, and luckily there are many solid chargers at very affordable prices. Some of the top tier and more expensive chargers also come with support from the places you buy them from. The best thing you can do when it comes to choosing a charger for its quality is to educate yourself. So read some reviews, watch some videos. As far as features go, there are so many variants on the basic charger. The best advice is to do some research and make a list of your required features and your desired features. Then when you've narrowed it down to a few chargers based on your wattage and charging needs, which we'll go into in a second, you can go check it against this list of features and choose one that best suits your needs. We're gonna talk about charger power here in the specs section. And this is the main criteria you should use when choosing your charger. First off, your charger needs to support the chemistry of the batteries you're charging. In RC hobbies, we're generally gonna be using LiPo batteries. If you plan on charging other chemistry batteries, double check against the charger to make sure it's capable of managing those chemistries. The next step is to check the cell count of all of your batteries, maximum but also minimum. Make sure that your charger is capable of charging all the way down and all the way up. And this takes us to the maximum charge rates. Finding the maximum charge rate will take a little bit of math if you're interested in faster charging times. Keep in mind the maximum power a charger can output is labeled with the maximum output wattage spec and not the maximum charge rate spec. Wattage is calculated by multiplying volts by amps. Let's say we have a 2200 milliamp hour three cell battery and we want to charge it at a 1C charge rate. For LiPo batteries, the voltage of each cell is 4.2. So we're going to multiply that by the amps. Be careful to convert out of milliamp hours. For this battery, it's going to be 27.7 watts. If you want to charge at a 2C charge rate, you're going to double the amps like so. To charge this battery, you'll need a charger that can support 55.4 watts. You can simply go to the manual of your charger and purchase a power supply based off of the recommendations. However, it is always better to buy a power supply based on your charging needs. Do check the manual and make sure you're not going over the maximum input voltage specified for the charger because that can be bad for your charger. For small packs, you can get away with a relatively small power supply, but if you're charging large packs or many packs in parallel, you're gonna need a power supply with a higher output wattage. You'll need to know the input wattage you need to support your batteries, and that's easy to find. Let's use the same batteries from before. Remember, we'd figured out that the required wattage was 55.4. If we're charging four of them in parallel, we'll multiply that wattage by four. Once we have that number, it's always a good idea to add on another 10% to account for charger efficiency. We'll need a power supply capable of outputting a little over 240 watts in order to parallel charge four three-cell 2200 milliamp hour batteries at a 2C charge rate. Also note your charger's input current limit. Some power supplies output high current at low voltage and your charger won't be able to take advantage of all of the power in that situation. However, it won't damage your charger, it just won't be able to take advantage of all of the power available from the power supply. Progressive RC has some power calculators on our website where we can do the math for you. There are some links here, check them out. Thanks for watching and as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us. 
through our contact page or just emailing us at contact at progressiverc.com. In order to parallel charge for 3S 2200 milliamp hour batteries at a 2C charge rate. Oh my god, there's so many numbers in that sentence. 